Hey there! Today's physics game that I play is the power comparison puzzle. This is uh, a game over power force and uh, at the top I have the equation or the formula to define power. We have uh, the power, the force moving and time. So this is power is equal to work divided to time or P equals W divided by T. This is the main knowledge here. Now, I have a few objects that I have to place on the appropriate power. <laughs> I didn't remember them well, but well, I try. First, I want to find uh, the one with the most power. I, feel I used a few tries to check the items. Uh, so this should be the luminosity of the sun. It's uh, with 300 yotta watts, I think. Now let's see which object is with 50 terawatts. 50 terawatts. I think this is the rate of heat energy release by a hurricane. Uh, that is it. It is really a lot. Uh, let me compare it with the power of a lightning, which is uh, 1.2 gigawatts. And you may know this information from the greatest movie in the world. This is the trilogy of what is that? Back to the Future. <laughs> uh, this movie is from year 1985, but it still rules. Uh, now, the next object is the mechanical power output of diesel locomotive. I think this is the one with 3 megawatts. And 1.1 kilowatt should be the power of the micro microwave oven, right? Now these satellites, uh, spoiler, I know it, they contain very little uh, power, if I can say that. It is, so this is the 1.1 kilowatt. Now which thing? can produce or use one watt. Hmm. Actually, uh, I think it is a typical bike generator of bicycle dynamo with 100 watts. Now, this is hard. The 5 microwatts. I think this is the laser in a CD-ROM drive. So it doesn't consume a lot of power. Actually, in the computer, I think the monitor, the monitor is with the most power. For example, I have a TV in the auxiliary command center, which I record different videos, which is one kilowatt. So that TV, which I use uh, like a screen, computer screen, <laughs> actually, in, in its peak, it can generate one kilowatt per hour to take that amount of energy. All right, back to the game. <laughs> one nanowatt. Well, I think the power consumption of 8-bit peak microcontroller, that is a chip, is one nanowatt. Then one picowatt should be the average power consumption of a human cell. Excellent. And now I have the GPS signal strength at the surface of the Earth and the radio signal power of Galileo Space Probe. Uh, that should be with the least, which is 0.5. 
Now, I may say this incorrectly, I think this is zeta watt. And the GPS signal is this one, F watt. Uh, 15 tries. Well, I can compare this, but uh, I think I did well. So, this is for today, and let the force be with you.